Welcome. So I'm here today with uh, Pia in Chile, and yesterday we traveled to uh, Valparaiso uh, for uh, a gathering with the people from uh, the Fronte Amplio. I'm not good at translating, and uh, with uh, a political group who have raised 20% of the vote with 21 elected at uh, one senator and 20 deputies. So I'm going to ask Pia uh, to tell us a little bit uh, how did we get to that point and, uh, and we're going to start from there. Pia, welcome. Thank you, David. It's very nice to be here. Uh, very nice to have you here in Chile because uh, we have enjoyed these days a lot, a lot. And we have seen a new phenomena which is uh, the first time that a third force, political force, um, starts. I mean, is, is being born, no? And starts with uh, 20 deputies and one senator, which is, which is a very good number just to start. No? And it's also, I mean, I was looking a little bit of how does it, where does it come from or how does it come from, and it's mainly the student Yes, um, this is a coalition mm -hmm. of 13 different political forces and movements. Mm -hmm. Some of them were parties, but the majority of them started in the political arena on 2011, when the students claimed going to the streets in a permanent protest for a good free education. And they organized as students in different movements, several movements. And they um, were uh, enough intelligent as to discover that without a little of organization, they wouldn't go further. So they organized in different political movements. No, no, but organized one thing and doing a political movement is another thing. Yes, they organize looking for a political continuity. Exactly. And, and they were able to choose two deputies from two different currents, yeah? Mm. Democratic Revolution is one, mm -hmm. one deputy four years ago, and the autonomist movement is another one. The first one with a little legal representation, a legal um, uh, situation as as party, yeah. political party, yeah. but the autonomist movement without anyone, yeah. yeah? Okay, but then, as generation, being the two youngest deputies, there was a third one, very young, of their age, in the Congress, from the Liberal Party, a new small party that had a great affinity with them. So they started sort of three guys affinity and little by little these people were started looking for other forces that weren't in power and had no corruption at all because Chile uh, has become a very corrupted country so they look for forces new ones among students basically but also among some other parties like the Green Party the Humanist Party, which I, to, to which I belong, and um, some other currents. And among 13 different movements was born this Frente Amplio. First six, which were uh, four students' uh, movements, one the Liberal Party, and then the Humanist Party. Yeah? Those six parties opened up to others, and they became 13. So yeah. We're going to go back to Fontainebleau because I think it's a big contribution. Yes. Um, uh, a lot of, of the issue that I saw in many countries, and, and in the US it's, it's a big issue, or in Colombia, it's usually the left have difficulty to create a front. Yeah. And when they do, it's a very tactical front yeah. who doesn't have enough roots or enough uh, ideological uh, vision to be able to stay together and understand then it's either all or no one will get to the story. And you think the election right now in Colombia are showing that yeah. the, the problem of not be able to do a front. 
and in 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 the US, uh, with Sanders, we saw then the Democratic Party is not doing what it should be doing, and and no one was able to create a front who could really, you know, give proposition and so on and so forth. So, so Chile was really my vision of what I saw was very special to be able to do it and be able to maintain. Yeah, the first thing I would say is that Frente Amplio is not just left, yeah. because liberals are not left. So they are not right, they are liberals, mm -hmm. but they put a, a color mm -hmm. which is not red, mm -hmm. yeah? which is very interesting, is very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a diversity mm -hmm. that goes there. The second thing I would say is that Chile is a country where since long time ago, we humanists learned, since the dictatorship's days, that we cannot do things alone. Yeah. Because we were not able to, put the, to go back to democracy by just by ourselves. We had to make a coalition. And that was the coalition that, the no. yes, the campaign of the no and the concertación that that brings us to democracy. Then, when being in democracy already, we became opposition because we saw that it was a neoliberal system, we um, went to look for the left forces and we organized Podemos because we knew that alone we couldn't do a change. That is a lesson that is very, very deeply incorporated in our political ways of doing. And I would say the students had the same clear feeling when they were alone by themselves in the streets. They were needing others, and they called for the teachers' movement, and they called for other social movements in order to get this idea of a free education of good quality uh, as, as a very deep well, in Frente Amplio, there are Gramsci people, Marxist people, people inspired in Silo's uh, books, mm -hmm. humanists, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, people, uh, ecologists, yeah. I mean, all kind of feminism, mm -hmm. uh, all kind of different ideologies. But we respect the other's ideology because thanks to the other's ideology, we can build the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, we will be uniform, and, and we need to, 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 be, to be an offer for many different people mm -hmm. in order to grow. But on, on the same time, be able to work together with usually where the problem is. It, it's, it's how can you be open and at the same time be able to so that? Because we have a common enemy, yes, exactly. I would say. <laughs> we have a common enemy. <laughs> no, it's, it's, I think it's, it's clear. And, and so to go back to the humanist. Uh, something has happened. I mean, it's really uh, now. I was with Florcita Motuda, and it's like you can walk on the street without being, bes beside being a very famous uh, singer. But it's really the, the humanists have been uh, taking some space in political uh, space in Chile. So, what it's it's the flowers is getting out of the, of the ground, and it's becoming something very beautiful. No. Yeah, I would say um, the, you saw a very special day, a very beautiful day, but really this has been a work of permanence, day after day after day, um, with very beautiful and inspired moments, but also with very uncomfortable and quite hard situations. It's not easy to make a campaign in, in winter, going back to the streets when you are older than 60, when you, <laughs> you <laughs> I mean, you have done everything and, and you are ready to keep on this activism. Uh, Florcita, as you said, is 72 years old. And to go back to the streets, to talk directly to the people, to inspire them in the political activity, which is something that is, has no credits today, has been something that required an internal motor, a belief, 
a faith, I would say, uh, an inspiration, a hope, which is very, very strong. And that uh, has been feeded, has been um, supported by the fact that the younger generation uh, believed on us also. I mean, it's a complementation. It's a complementation with this, this new force, these new people that will have the future because the future is there, and these humanists that we have all the experience and they want to know about, uh, so we regain the rhythm of youth and they are learning about uh, how the processes work, how the experience in politics may be, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, no, it, it, yeah. it was very clear. I mean, it was so beautiful. But it's also with the teacher union, and it's many places where, where I see then uh, uh, the, the proposal, the humanist proposal. Yes, I, I, yes. I, I, as humanists, I would say we have two, in this moment, we have two big uh, results. Yeah. One is in the social area, which is Mario Aguilar being the president of the um, larger union in the country, which is the one of the teachers. So he, he has become a reference at the national level. Everybody in the country knows who he is. No? Yesterday, he, he arrived to the square, and the one with the mic said, hey, here is uh, the the president of the teachers, yeah. everybody knows him. Yeah. So he's a big, he's a humanist, he, he has um, raised the, the, the proposal of being coherent, coherent, no? to think, to feel and to act in the same direction. That's what he says to every teacher in the country, you know? And, and to treat, and, and, yeah, and to treat others the way you want to be treated. That's, that's the main thing that is now being worked among all teachers of TILA. And the second big, big success was these three deputies from the Humanist Party in the Parliament working in the ambit of Frente Amplio in complementation with all these young deputies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I thank you very much for inviting me, and thank you very much for having me, and thank you very much for uh, uh, this experience. It was uh, very uh, uh, beautiful, and um, I hope to see you very soon. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you, David, because coming with your trip here and, and with, with your visit here these days, uh, we, we maybe um, bring these this new, very good days to New York in one way or another, thanks to a face-to-face -face that can reproduce it. And something will happen, I'm sure, because this movement of young people is happening everywhere, with the Occupy movement in New York, with the Indignados in Spain, with the people in Turkey, with the people in Hong Kong, everywhere. So there is a generation that is there, that is looking for how to move, how to open the future. Yeah. No? And, and this... Um, uh, Frente Amplio goes there, to that space. Yeah, thank you very much. And then we're going to march on the 24 with the, the young, uh, the youth in, in New York, only in Washington DC and in New York yeah. for, for the, the gun, the gun, the guns, violence. Yeah. And so, yeah, and they, are so it, they are very, very, very young people, very young yeah. people and yeah. they are very strong. They have, yeah. so it's another discussion. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. thanks. Bye. -bye. Bye.